Hi, and welcome to our patch vlog for update 23. First off, you may have noticed that the patch notes are now displayed within the PUBG client. Staying updated on the most recent changes to the game should now be a lot easier. To view the patch notes, look for the new patch notes icon in the top right between your name and the player care package icon. The first big update for this patch is the introduction of a brand new 9mm pistol, the Scorpion. Since it has a full auto option and slots for a stock and grip, it can act like an SMG without taking up one of your primary weapon slots. And best of all, it can be found on all battlegrounds, so you can rely on it as part of your main loadout. Custom games received some attention this patch, with a new mode, new features, and some quality of life adjustments. The new game mode is called Conquest, and it's been added as a war mode option for your custom games. In Conquest, two teams of 50 players battle for control of objectives in an area of the map. Once captured, these objectives earn your team points so long as you maintain control. To win, be the first team to reach the target score, or have the most points when time runs out. Friends can now be invited to custom game lobbies. And for the players who want a bit more control, we've added a new option that allows you to adjust the damage ratios for different areas of the body. This setting can be adjusted from 0 to 500, and you can break it down by head, upper body, lower body, arms, or legs. You can even determine how these ratios affect bullets, melee, or throwables. The training mode map is now officially known as Camp Jackal, and has also been added as a map option for custom war mode games. So based on your feedback, we've toned down the recent visuals of the Blue Zone. It should now be a lot easier to see what's happening outside the zone, especially during certain weather conditions. Changing the reticle display on your scopes should now be a little bit more convenient, as Page Up and Page Down will now cycle through options in a loop instead of stopping at the end of the options. We've also added a small pop-up that informs players of available keyboard shortcuts. This is set to on by default, but don't worry, this can be turned off in the settings menu. And finally, with Halloween approaching, a number of Halloween skins have been added to the game. Look for them in the in-game store. That's all for this patch vlog. For more detailed information, and as we mentioned earlier, the full patch notes can be found within the game. Update 23 is available now, so hop in the game and check out what's new.